Good morning. Good morning. Wherever you are and whatever time zone you may be, thank you for joining me and listening to Coffee Time. We're continually studying the Lord's Prayer, and this is a quick review of past episodes. Matthew 6, 9-13. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Jesus is teaching us to pray, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. And today, we'll continue to learn about Father God's name. What is so amazing about our Father God's name? In order to know this, we must begin by knowing God's will for us all. Friends, God's will for us all is salvation. Yes, God has a universal salvific plan, meaning saving all mankind created in His, in his image and His likeness from the penalties of sin. And God sent His Son, Jesus, to reveal His divine plan to save all mankind. And when you truly know and believe this amazing truth and call out the name of Jesus with faith, then you will be saved as promised in the Bible. Romans 10, 13, everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Yes, the name of Jesus is the only name that saves. And when you call out the name of Jesus with faith, then you will be saved. For it is the Savior's name. Amen. Amen. Acts 4, 12, salvation is found in no one else. For there is no other name under heaven given to mankind by which we must be saved. Yes. Fully knowing the magnificent power of the name of Jesus, Apostle Paul declared in Colossians 3.17, And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through Him. Whatever you do, in word or deed, do it in the name of Jesus. What are they? Friends, there are so many things we can and must do in Jesus' name. And today, I'll just share with you at least 15 things we can and must do in Jesus' name. So please make a note. First, we're saved in Jesus' name. Acts 4.12, Romans 10.13. The reason I'm giving you all these verses is I want you to go back to the Bible and study and make it on your own. Second, we're forgiven in Jesus' name. Luke 24, 47, Acts 2, 38, 1 John 2, 12. Three, we're elevated as God's children in Jesus' name. John 1, 12. Number four, we're baptized in Jesus' name. Matthew 28, 19, Acts 2, 38, Acts 8, 16, Acts 10, 38, Acts 19, 5. Number five, we receive life in Jesus' name, John 20, 31. Number six, we gather in Jesus' name, Matthew 18, 20. Number seven, we give thanks in Jesus' name, Ephesians 5, 20. Number eight, we must pray in Jesus' name, John 14, 13 through 14. John 15, 16. John 16, 23 to 24. Number nine, we praise in Jesus' name, Hebrews 13, 15. Number 10, we love each other in Jesus' name, John 17, 26. Number 11, we're protected in Jesus' name, John 17, 11 through 12. Number 12, we're healed in Jesus' name, Mark 16, 17 through 18, Acts 3, 6, Acts 3, 16, Acts 4, 10. Number 13, we cast out demons in Jesus' name, Mark 16, 17, Luke 10, 17. Number 14, we must believe in Jesus' name, John 1, 12, 1 John 3, 23, 1 John 5, 13. Number 15, we must teach and witness Jesus' name, Acts 4, 17, Acts 5, 28. Then what is believing in Jesus' name? It is to believe that Jesus is the only Savior. And teaching and witnessing Jesus' name means to witness Jesus to the entire world, which is the evangelism and the mission of the believers, including the church. Because the name of Jesus is the only name that saves, for it is the name of the Savior, 
the entire creation bow down before this powerful name. Philippians 2, 9-11 Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue confess, acknowledges that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. At the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Then what are in the heaven? The heavenly angels. Then what are on earth? The entire creation. Then what are under the earth? The fallen angels and evil spirits. Therefore, literally everything, the entire creation, all the problems, diseases, and even the evil spirits, and even Satan would bow before this powerful name of Jesus. Therefore, we should also honor the name of Jesus and bow down before him absolutely. And when you bow down only to Jesus, then something amazing happens. God elevates us before the creation. James 4.10 Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. 1 Peter 5, 6, Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, then that He may lift you up in due time. Therefore, when you believe this truth and surrender and repent before God, then God will not only forgive you, but He will also lift you up before the creation. In addition, because the name of Jesus is the name of the Savior, the name of the Prince of Peace, when you know and believe and call out the name of Jesus with faith, then you can enjoy all the fruits and promises of salvation and shalom. And these are 10 fruits and promises of salvation. Salvation, rescue, freedom, healing, wholeness, victory, health, peace, safety, and protection. And here are 10 fruits and promises of shalom. Peace, tranquility, completeness, wholeness, restoration, prosperity, safety, protection, reward, and harmony. However, however, you must believe and call out the name of Jesus with faith. Otherwise, it's a sin. Romans 14, 23, everything that does not come from faith is sin. Now, friends, can you fathom the amazing privilege in praying, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, as you begin to pray the Lord's Prayer? <laughs> wow! <laughs> then how can we enjoy all these divine privileges? Real simple. Get reconnected with God. How? Just Jesus. Surrender plus repentance equals restoration. Amen? Amen? <laughs> As we close, I have a daily homework and realization application. Daily homework? Please watch today's episodes and write down all those verses and just watch a few more times to share with other people. And the realization application portion? Ask yourself these simple questions. Do I know and believe the powerful name of Jesus? Do I call out the name of Jesus with faith to enjoy salvation? If not, then let us admit, surrender, and repent of our lack of faith. And let us begin again by absolutely trusting, following, and remaining in Jesus for all our days. Amen? Amen? As we close, would you mind repeating after me after, as I lead you to a simple prayer? Precious Father, what an honor to know the precious name of Jesus. And what an amazing privilege is to call out the name of Jesus by faith. Thank you, Father, for teaching me this truth. And forgive me for not living out this truth. Help me to live out this truth now and forevermore. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Listen, our Coffee Time is found on Just Jesus YouTube channel. And I want to invite you to grow together as we listen to the heart of God through the Word of God. Everyone, we love you. Let's just continue to hold on to Jesus for all our days. We'll see you next time. God bless you.